The Polar Express. Yeah, hot chocolate. Yeah, hot chocolate. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yes, the Bipolar Express. No, it's the bi. It's the it's the Polar Express, not the Bible. Um, Robert Zemeckis did this one. Um, it was the early days of motion capture CG. 2004. Really is motion capture CD. Uh, right after the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Uh, uh, Zemeckis' company, the DreamWorks and them, those guys, they got a hold of the technology. Only they didn't do it right. The result was the Polar Express. A very surreal Christmas movie that is frightening to watch. <laughs> Little children are not going to enjoy this movie. It breaks the fourth wall like this. It was like, okay, Tom Hanks plays all of the male characters that are adults. And it's very obviously Tom Hanks. Even though they put, like, different outfits on him and stuff. Santa and a bum and the hero and everyone else. And it's creepy as all get out. It's like... If you want to watch a good horror movie at Christmas time, pick up the Polar Express. the The story is this little boy who's sort of like, I guess, divorced. They like to do that in Zemeckis and Spielberg movies. He's divorced. His parents are divorced, and uh, he has a fantasy where he imagines that, even though he doesn't know anybody in the neighborhood, <laughs> he has a fantasy that a train, a magical train, drives by his house. A strange train conductor invites him on a trip to the North Pole for Christmas. When strange men come up to you in a strange fantasy train and want to take you away to Christmas land, it's probably not what you think. Yeah. Uh, but in this movie it is. It's uh, harmless enough. But everybody looks freaking scary. Santa Claus is especially scary. It's like, wow, movie, really? <laughs> They're all Tom Hanks. Really? And they sing songs like Chocolate. That's good for you. Yeah. I'm thinking the whole time. Yeah, Jim Jones, Kool-Aid. Yeah, drink that stuff. Go for it. <laughs> and there's this there's this uh, character that was in Dexter's Lab and some other shows on. And he was in it. And I always thought on the show, he, on the other shows that he was on, he had sort of an old man voice because he's an old guy. And this one, it's worse because he's even older. So he's like, I'm a little boy. He's like, okay, no you're not. You're like older than Tom Hanks. Stop. Yeah. Wow. And I, of course, jokingly called it the Bipolar Express. Not to make fun of bipolar people, but the movie is bipolar, if you think about it. The little boy is just imagining, because he's schizophrenic, or... <laughs> He's borderline schizophrenic bipolar disorder. That there's a train coming for him, which there isn't. Um, and and he's imagining the whole thing based on what his absentee father, Tom Hanks, the character, is doing. Even though he's not really there, riding the rails on the train. It's not really a parable for the 30s, where everybody's riding the rails and was a hobo, and and trying to get money and stuff, which is kind of in there, kind of not. But yeah, um, bipolar express, not the polar. Express. The Polar Express, of course. It is, at that point, he should have said, what? The, the Polar Express? It didn't make any sense. I mean, half of the North Pole is, like, liquefied at this point. Back then, it would have been kind of sludgy. So, yeah, they, they couldn't get there. They would have died. But, yes, there aren't train tracks all the way to the North Pole. Of course, the little boy isn't really going to the North Pole because he's obviously either being drugged or he's hallucinating, or or a dream, or all three. Um, the Bipolar Express. They didn't have, like, magical Santa Prozac back then. Da-da-da-da, da-da-da, Prozac.